I'm coming here to Argonne to uh, study a portion of my project which is based on uh, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, which is Lou Gehrig's disease. And so what we're doing is we're trying to understand the cause of the disease. Most amyotrophic lateral sclerosis is sporadic, which means we don't understand um, what causes it. But there's a familial or a genetic form of the disease, which is, which is caused by a mutation called copper-zinc superoxide dismutase. It's a protein in the body that's an antioxidant protein. And when it mutates, it actually forms these tiny little aggregates in the spinal cord. And when that happens, it causes paralysis and then eventually death um, to the patient. So the protein is like a spaghetti noodle type of thing. And uh, what can happen to it is that uh, when a protein folds correctly, it forms the proper shape. But then it can fold incorrectly and form this unproper shape. And this unproper shape clumps together and forms these aggregates. They look like inclusions in the spinal cord tissue itself. What we are concerned about is that uh, this protein itself requires two metals to fold correctly, uh, copper and zinc. And why we're here is that we can actually use the synchrotron source to look at the status of the copper and zinc uh, relative to the motor neurons in the spinal cord. And we're using the very tiny beams at the advanced photon source in order to focus in on those tiny aggregates uh, in order to understand um, how much copper there is, how much zinc there is, if there's any, uh, to help us understand why the aggregates form and then why paralysis happens. We'd like to know if there's variations in actual total copper and zinc levels between uh, the mutated versions of the disease and uh, normal human versions of uh, superoxide dismutase. So what we expect to see is a difference between those metal content. And if we understand the difference in the metal content, we can understand what's going on with the protein and why it's possibly misfolding. Of course, the ultimate goal would be to prevent the disease. So you would want these aggregates that are forming in the spinal cord to not form. And if we can prevent that from happening, uh, then the disease actually won't manifest itself. But realistically, once the symptoms start to show up, it would still be possible to halt the disease. The main thing is if we understand why something happens, we can figure out ways to deal with it. So if we understand why it's misfolding, it's possible to create drugs or develop techniques to uh, rescue the protein before it misfolds or if it's already misfolded to continue treatment of the disease and uh, prevent further damage from these aggregates forming.